thank you, Farin, for this interview for French TV, yes. RMC Sport. Do you speak French, Farin? No. No? I don't speak French. Not one word, one two words? Bonjour, ça va? Yeah. Comment tu parles tu? Something like this. I don't yeah. know. I learned this in like when I was eight in school. Yeah? Eight years old, yeah. And you like French? Uh, it's it's difficult language, no? I thought it was a little bit difficult. I I picked up Spanish a little bit easier. Yeah. yeah. But it's a nice language. You're right. Um, so far, already you have no loss in your career, no defeat, even in, in amateur MMA. No, no defeat. How does it feel to be invincible? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, I definitely don't feel invincible. In training every day, my training partners remind me of how mortal I am. But when when it matters the most on fight night, I do a good job of remaining focused, finding st sticking to the game plan. If something changes, I make adjustments. Um, but I plan on keeping the undefeated streak going up forever, you know, as long as I can, but let's see what happens. Can you tell us about your, your childhood? Uh, you were born in Afghanistan yes. and uh, emigrated to England, is that, that right? Yeah, yeah. So I was born in Afghanistan first, and then my family moved into a refugee camp in Pakistan. And then from Pakistan, we came over to London, okay. England. At uh, what uh, what is your age? I think I was three or four when I came to the UK. Okay. Very young. Okay. And um, it's it, it was a hard life, no, for for your parents too. Uh yeah, for my whole family. Yeah, the, you know the history, the recent history of Afghanistan is 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 no secret. You know, very difficult. The whole country was a war zone for the last 50 years. So, of course, it affected me, my siblings, my family. Um, it's a tough life, but it it made us who we are. I'm a fighter and, and I'm the type of fighter that I am because because of this kind of background. And uh, w when you fight, you fight for England and uh, Afghanistan? Yeah. I, I always r raise the Afghanistan flag and I say I'm Afghan because, you know, my both my parents are Afghan. I was born there. My DNA is Afghan. But I grew up in the UK. I love London. You know, I always represent the UK too. It's not I've it's not like I'm it's just Afghanistan. Of course, Afghanistan is dear to my heart. So is Lo so is the UK. So, yeah, I lived in the UK for 20 years, and I got a lot of love for the UK as well. What is your speciality, Farid, in the MMA? Uh, people say you are a very good grappler. Mm. It's, it's your favorite? I think, look, they're saying grappling now, but a couple of fights ago they were saying that my striking was my specialty. So it's changing all the time. This is good. This is what I want. I want people to th question, is this guy a striker? Is this guy a grappler? My best tools is well-roundedness. One fight I may grapple, next fight I may strike, one fight I may go forward, next fight I may go back, sideways, take down, this take down. I always change. So I think my best tools are probably that um, I could do a bit of everything. And you like uh, MMA? Um, I love, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The our speciality, because some them. fighter like yeah. one speciality. Yeah, yeah. Some guys are specialists. They like jujitsu or wrestling or boxing or kickboxing. For me, I, I love all of them. I'm a student. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan, so I watch all of combat sports uh, and I practice all of it too and I try and incorporate it into my style. And uh, some specialists say you are a very good job. Your job mm -hmm. is amazing. Yeah. And uh, what's an uh, important job for you? What, uh, why is it important? The jab is the most important tool when it comes to striking, in boxing, in kickboxing. Uh, it's even very important... Um, yeah, in, in, in all, all the, sp all the stri striking sports, it's, it's like you can control distance with it, you can get your opponent's timing with it, uh, and you can also do damage with it. So the jab is the most important punch for sure. Tell us about your, your professional career. Mm -hmm. uh, some fight in five star, mm -hmm. you see MMA, mm -hmm. Octagon. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I, I came up on the, the UK scene. Local, uh, you know, it's tough because when you have an older brother who's also an excellent fighter, it's tough to get matchups sometimes. So the local scene was very stressful for me. I fought in some shows, uh, just local shows, fight star, and, and I fought in Octagon as well in the US, uh, in Europe, huh? Czech Republic. This was a good show. I enjoyed it. I, I, you know, for me, it was just at the time I didn't, I didn't matter to me so much where I fought. I just wanted to fight, build my record. Um, now that we're on the international scene, you know, the UFC, this is this was always the goal, so I'm happy. Yeah, you fight in the Dana Contender Series. Mm. It was um, an important fight for you. Very important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
It was exactly here in the apex, so I'm familiar with this, this scenery. Uh, this was the fight for me to get my foot in the door, you know. It was like my audition. And I performed excellently, I think. UFC were very impressed, very happy with me, and that's why they signed me. So I think that night I showed the world that, you know, this, this young guy, he, he's got some potential. He's going to do some, some, uh, some serious damage in the UFC. Yeah, it's, it's special in Apex because uh, there are no, no crown, no yeah, public. Yeah, yeah. But you, you hear your coach. On yeah. yeah, you can hear your coach. You can hear people. You know, there's a very small crowd, a very limited group of people. You can hear them. Even them, they're giving you advice. And you can hear. You don't want to hear them, but you, you can hear them. So it's definitely different. I had to, you know, uh, get ready for it mentally. But at the end of the day, a fight is a fight. If this fight happened in front of crowd, no crowd, the jungle, the streets, doesn't matter. I have to get my hand raised. You're fighting the same division as uh, your brother, no? Yes. Will you ever get to him, to meet him one day? No, I will never fight him. No, we will never fight each other. You know, some things are more important than, than money and fame and, and uh, glory. We will always help each other improve, but we will never, you know fight each other in front of everybody we'll fight each other back in the in the in training in every training, day every, every day. day we fight each other in training every day even at home or in the car we are fighting each other but in front of everybody for money this is not us your last fight is in paris no yes how do you think about paris the the, the crown for the beginning the, the crowd yeah the best crowd i ever seen the best crowd i think uh i've been to i've watched UFC London, yeah. I've watched, I was there in Abu Dhabi with, with the Javits fight. I've been to some other good shows. I was in Utah, Las Vegas, but I think the, the, the Paris one was the best because especially I was one of the first fights and for me, it, the crowd was going crazy. So by the time I got to the main event, it was, it was insane. So, I, and I really didn't expect it. You know, I was very impressed by the French people, you know, so well done to them. And the city too, Paris. Yeah, Paris city is, you know, so one of the most prolific cities in the world. It's uh You have to visit it once in your life. I really liked uh, some of the food, you know, the, the baguettes, the chocolate, the croissants, these things. And um, it was, it was I, I wish I stayed after the fight a little bit more so I could enjoy the, 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 the city when I'm not cutting weight and, you know, preparing for a fight. But yeah, lovely city. Maybe you, you like it in Paris because you like soccer, no? Oh, I love soccer. <laughs> I love soccer. You like French team? There is no specific team. The past French team, because we past are... Past French team? Oh, the Fran oh, I love, yeah, France national team. Yeah. L'équipe. Yeah, I love, I love France. I thought you meant specific team, like Paris Saint-Germain, no, Lyon. No, 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 no. No, yeah, the French national team, yeah, historically always, you know. My, my second favorite player of all time is Zidane, so I, I love, I love France. Because I France. saw in your Instagram uh, a Zidane. picture with Zizou, Zizou, with Zizou uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. front of Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'm I'm a, the biggest football fan. You know, I used to play football a lot when I was coming up, and um, even now, before the French team, since since maybe in the mid '90s, France have had like the best team consistently. You know, one generation, and then another golden generation with Mbappe, Pogba, Kanté. So, yeah, France is a powerhouse. And your favorite team in Europe? Real Madrid. Real Madrid is my team. <laughs> Yeah. Right now we have some good French players, you know. Karim Benzema just left. We have Tushemeni, uh Kamavinga, I think Mendy, Ferland Mendy. So Chomeni. Chomeni, yeah. So yeah, Real Madrid is my team. Since I was a baby because my favorite player is Ronaldo, R9. Ah, the, Ronaldo the, the real, the real the real Ronaldo, original, you know. So when he moved to Real Madrid in 2002-3, uh, uh then I was like this is my team. Since then, all white Los Blancos, you know. I had all the kids when I was younger, so I love Real Madrid. Uh, for the this fight, mm. do you know Taylor Lapilus? Yes, I, I'm familiar with his, his his game. How do you think about this fighter? I think he's a very very good fighter, very experienced, composed, has a good game. Um, he's uh, I mean he's 19 and three, and even his losses like close fights. You know, he was in the UFC. The year I started training MMA, he was in the U he joined the UFC. So it shows you how long he's been at the top level. So yeah, Taylor Lapilus is a very good fighter. Like like you, um, he's a complete fighter. Mm. He's good in striking, mm. in in wrestling, yeah. in in grappling, mm -hmm. um, and he um, he know uh, to 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 say the, the distance. Mm. 
He's very good li like you. Mm, yeah, yeah. What, what is the t type of fight for you? Yeah, this is, uh, you know, the distance. He keeps the distance very well. He has a very good jab too, like you said about me. So this is why I, I think this is probably the most interesting fight on the card. You know, uh, there's some big names, like Kalaev and these guys, their main event, of course. But if you want to talk from a fight fan point of view, if you want to talk about stylistics and, and intelligent fighters, I think me and Taylor is the best fight on the card. He's a consultant for RMC Sport. Right, right, yeah. And uh, he sends you your confidence, maybe to show off yourself. What do you say to him? Uh, what can I say? You know, we're fighting. His confidence is a good thing. I definitely don't think I'm overconfident because I, then I wouldn't be training as hard as I am. I know for a fact, like, most of these guys are not training the way I am. The, the training camps that I'm doing are, is crazy. If I was overconfident, I wouldn't train so hard. I would say, yeah, I'm going to beat this guy. I don't need to train hard. But I'm training so hard because I know how good he is. It's just I believe in myself. I believe, you know, I'm 11 and 0 to now. I believe I'm going to be 12 and 0 this Saturday. It's a dangerous fight. Uh, sorry, it's a dangerous fight for you. Of course, very dangerous. He's, uh, like I said, he's so experienced. He has such good striking. Um, he's dangerous everywhere. So it's a dangerous fight for me for sure. And some specialists say uh, it's a, it's a big matchup for you and for for him mm -hmm. because maybe the the winner uh, goes to the the next fight is for the top 15. No. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely possible. You know, uh, for me, in my opinion. Goes back to against him if I'm overlooking him. I think he's top 15 caliber already. I think he can even beat some people in top 10, like number nine, eight, like this. And uh, I think I can beat people also top five, like this, you know. So he's very good, but I'm better. Yeah, you're better? I'm ready and I'm better than him. What is your prediction for, for this fight? Will you beat him before the deadline? Yeah, I will finish him, I think. I think round two, I will finish him. And what you'll finish? It depends on him. It depends how he plays his game. I don't look for anything too specific. I play my game. If he wants to fight a certain type of way, I will adjust. But I definitely think I will finish him.